know that I'm a foreign star If you might talk, I'll make your mind And if they ain't showing no love, I don't let it get to my mind And I be to it with my craft divine, I claim what's mine And I can't play all of those games, I to protect my time I know that I'm a foreign star, if you might type, I'll make your mind Aries, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Triple Three's Tarot. MC Triple Three, welcome back. Back at it again with another one. Aries, if you're Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascended, this is your Tarot card readings and messages from Spirit this week, your Aries. So hang tight with us. We're going to get straight into it. We're also going to be pulling a Mystery Confirmation card, actually, from the letter Wade Smith, right there as well. At the end, just tying everything together. If you have any other planetary energies in Aries, Mars in Aries or anything else like that, Mercury, Saturn, etc. in Aries, and you know how to correspond it, map it out, and do so to get a holistic picture of all the energies here, Aries. So, you guys get your readings on Sunday. You're partnered up with my Cancerians here. So, if you have Cancer in your chart, make sure you go ahead over to the channel, check that reading out. If you know a Cancer, you can go ahead and send that reading over to them. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. We do have a global community here. Aries, and you have people tuning in from everywhere, so I love to see where you guys are tuning in from. So shout out to all you guys worldwide. Today is messages from Spirit, short and sweet. Spirit here, show me Aries. Messages that they need to know here. Three cards. We got one coming out, Aries. Spirit, show me Aries. Messages from Spirit here. Mystery confirmation card from the right away Smith. You guys can comment down below and let me know what you think of in terms of the mystery card for you guys. I'm going to comment as well for a little game and test our intuition. See what it is myself. Guess. Guess what card that is. It could be a decision that you're contemplating here or something that you're thinking about here, Aries. We do have mastery coming out as the first card, which is a great omen. Good to see. 45 can be significant. Maybe 45 years old. Nine as well. Sagittarius, Virgo energy, Hermit energy. Travel could be significant. We have truth falling out on the floor. If it is significant for you here, Aries, spirit will show itself in the real life card again. So you could be mastering something right now here. We have flow and we have devotion. So we have flow and we have devotion. So this mastery is allowing you to remain in flow. So you're you're also a leader here. As you're tapping into your leadership energy in terms of how you position yourself and how you how you take action, right? How you assert yourself here. Uh, I think you're learning to master something right now, possibly a craft. It could be music or just some sort of, some sort of uh, arts in some way, shape, or form. You're really in a flow in a creative flow right now. We have 44 and 45. You are spending a lot of time on something here. You feel like you're in a cycle at eight energy, but you are devoted to it. Something you're spending a lot of time into is something you're devoted in. Something you're very passionate about here, Aries. What you need to know now as well, this card could be letting you know that there's it's time to, to, to master a certain craft or a certain hobby. And you need to remain in that ebb and flow. You know, stay devoted, stay devoted to your craft as well. I think that ebb and flow is going to allow you to stay devoted. Because so that's where that's going to lead you. It's going to lead you to some devotion as you ebb and flow because you're mastering this craft here. You're going to see how dedicated you are to it specifically. A little mystery confirmation card for you, Aries. Comment down below, let me know what you think this is. Let's see, I'm gonna put the deck off to the side. This is very nice though, you are tapping into some sort of, it's like you're, you're, you're learning something. You're teaching something, or you're not, not really teaching, but you're learning from it, you could be learning from a teacher. 
and you're learning how to find balance and how to find your flow with this with this mastery. And it's teaching you how to be devoted. We have 42, 44, and 45. 444 can be significant. It could be 42, 44, 45 as well. Let's check it out. Perspective, choices, chariot. Maybe chariot energy I'm getting if it's major. Let's see what's up. Ah, uh, Ten of Pentacles. This is nice. This is generational. A lot of you could be tapping into a sense of in, uh, inheritance here, Aries. But I don't think just that. But I think you're looking to build and devote yourself to something long lasting. Whatever this is, I think this this is something creative for you. I think you're learning to create a foundation around it, to create, curate some sort of longevity from this craft here, um, and that's what this devotion is offering, right? And when you're devoted to something that you love to do, and you allow yourself to flow with this thing, with the current not force anything you know the give and take kind of co-create with the universe with whatever this is you put out and allow yourself to receive it's going to take you a long way there's a lot waiting for you on the other side here you're also being led to lead so you will have a lot of people looking towards you here we have water and 33 at the bottom of the deck as well aries follow up with me tomorrow we have another reading coming out as always, I want to remind you that you're the most important part of Triple Three's Tarot. Watch it from afar, and I'm rooting for you. No more hammering. Yeah, this one.